Now I just need to get a link to share. Actually, you know what? Why am I doing it like this when I can do it like this real quick? Wait a minute, folks. I'm posting and I'm streaming off my phone. I've never done this before. This is fascinating. Hello, whomever has joined us. Proper stream will start in a moment. I am still sharing it. I've never done this off my phone before. This is neat. right back whomever this is oh hello a new person i'm not used to streaming off my phone so i'm gonna go check my computer because i have no idea if this is working correctly so i will be right back enjoy my no copyright look back Six people here now. Woohoo! I don't think that's actually including me. So, let's go. I'm just hanging out. I'm no recipes. This is just me needing to use leftovers. So, yeah. My wonderfully clean kitchen. Har har har. It's actually not that bad. My adorable owl mug. This is a Christmas gift. My cold ass over in there. I already have 
bunch of bok choy chopped and like green onions and cilantro and stuff, so. Cool. I dig. Thank you, YouTube, for making this easy for me. Okay, you're not cleaning, you're not cleaning. This is the big bok choy. I like baby bok choy as well, but for stir fries, it works very well. And always save these because then you can put your trash in them. It's nice. This isn't quite a whole bunch. I took four leaves out of it already, so almost. One bunch. Why not? Never have enough of these either. Snip off the ends. Okay, 
usually don't let people see me cut stuff because my neck skills are basically non-existent. fancy containers. I have full pepper bar and pickle bars. Actually, I think it's just sour cream. Hear me talking? Can't see anything from here. I'm like half blind. Even with contact. Yay, nay, maybe. Oh, hey, Andrew. Welcome back. Apparently, I just can't stay away, but this time I'm cooking. Ow. I just wasn't sure if y'all could hear me. Oh, they do melt away. Okay. Interesting. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm making stir fry. Because I have leftovers from the wonton soup I was trying to film on Friday. <laughs> trying, being the, trying being the operative word there. Um, but, oh, perfect. Now it's staying up. Okay. Still getting used to the UI here. But yeah, it's just like bok choy, ginger, basic Asian stuff. And I don't have a decent source of protein besides eggs right now, so I'll probably just, I might make soft boiled eggs, Ooh. or I might just throw a fried egg on top. Doesn't really matter, eggs, right? Busting into my fruit basket, y'all want my veggie bar. <laughs> no fruit, just veggies. Folks, I think I'm actually going to start saving the stock back. I've never done it before, but I don't see why I would or shouldn't. All the crap I'm gonna cut off from like the onions and whatnot. 
Actually, I should have saved the bottom of bok choy. Good. Um, but you can save the peels. You freeze them for a while, and then eventually you just start boiling them with some herbs and bay leaves and all that jazz, and then you have your own homemade stock. I must say, peeling garlic is basically one of my least favorite activities on the planet. My favorite way to do it is chop the end off and then just kind of squish and pull. Um, there's some magical method with metal and, I don't know, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I only remember it because I watched a video of Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg and she was like shaking this metal thing with garlic in it and they just like magically fell off. But I tried it once and it still did not work for me, so. I am not entirely sure what I did incorrectly. Maybe my bowl was too big, I don't know. <laughs> you can never have a bowl too big. <laughs> Insert terrible stoner jokes here. What am I talking about? I think my jokes are great. Anyone do anything or do anything interesting this weekend? Oh, I know, Andrew, you were stuck with me yesterday, like, supposedly by choice, but, you know. There we go. And I really like garlic, so I'm putting five in. Actually, I would probably put even more than that in, but, yeah. This should suffice. You can also use a spoon to squish it to loosen it up, but, or your knife, but I'm going to break to use my knife, because I don't know what you like. I don't want to squish my fingers. I usually don't mince. I'm gonna put this in the press, but I won't press this. Actually, you know, screw it. I'll just do it right now. I lied. I always lie about that. If you don't have one of these, mm -hmm. highly recommend garlic press. Ooh, welcome whoever's joined us. Um, still don't know this thing. Oh, thanks whoever, whoever did that. Oh, that's a bummer. It's not showing me everything. Oh, um, yes, Andrew, I'm totally with you. It. Yeah. I've never actually made veggie stock. Actually, I don't know if I've ever made stock in general. Um. But yeah, I'm excited for it because I keep, I have so much veggie waste, so it's ridiculous that I haven't been making it. More little jars. Bink, bink. Squish is again. Trust me in the kitchen. Well, I don't know if they actually trust me, but I'm in the kitchen. I don't know how I even managed to do that. Like, I've never squished. I use this thing almost every day. And, uh, well, maybe not every day, but like three times a week at least. Also, a mark of fresh garlic and one that's going to be potent is how strong it is. So if you eat a little bit and you're like, that's good. That means it's got lots of Allison in it. Or Allison, or one of those. Allison, I think. Whatever it is, it's the active component in garlic where you're like, oh yeah, I want that in it because it's healthy. It's a spoon. That's a big thing. That's a little. And that's garlic on my floor. Guess who's gonna have to mop the kitchen? Oh my god, this smells good. 
Okay. I have to boop this every once in a while to actually see what y'all are saying. Yay, hey Joe. Hey yo. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Smash that okay. Ah. Yeah, I mean they, it works either way. I just to release the oils it doesn't um if you mince it you don't get the same effect. So I wish this thing would like leave the chat up. Live chat? Talk chat? Hmm. Well, hello, Elliot. Sorry. Not, well, not, you could be, that could just be a random handle. Who knows that? Um, didn't know what Andrew. I'm just going to do them as is. I'm just going to leave some of them sort of roughly hewn. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Yup, yup. So, you wanna squish all the oils out of it. Oh, sorry, this is starting to like tilt. Hang on, make sure my duct tape's holding up. Oh, that's what's going on. One second, guys. The incredible Ari. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, hang on. Nope, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oops. The incredible Ari. It's so incredible at these things. She's so incredible that she surprises herself. Uh, all right. That sort of works. This is how I enjoy my Sundays. <laughs> Thankfully, my roommates are gone. If they show up, they'll be like, oh, it's her again. Okay, they get used to it. I gotta make coffee. This is not so tasty. <laughs> Yes, there are uses for your old key bags too, but I don't feel like being that useful right now. You guys want to see why I make the worst coffee in the world? Actually, this isn't the worst because this stuff isn't too bad, but this is powdered espresso. <laughs> Yep, 
Yeah, don't even bother opening it. We'll close this up. I don't even bother to stir, except for this. <laughs> Ta-da, Ari coffee. <laughs> oh, that's gloriously bad. It's just perpetually, perpetually falling. Okay. Onward. Look where onion go. Oh. It was. Do I want long, slender strings of onion? Do I want like chunky boys? I want chunky boys. have a lot of these in the freezer because I've made so much food lately that I had to store it. Sort of the poster child for like, do not shop as I shop. You want to learn how to use knife skills? Go watch Jacques Pepin, who I still actually need to watch, but I think I've just been sort of avoiding it. I'm like, I don't really like knives anyway, but I kind of need to use them for cooking. Yeah, no. Oh, my onion boys. Where my onion boys at? Oh, onion girls. Hmm. Cilantro. We're almost done with the fret, folks. We're getting there. We're getting there. Mm. I already washed this, so. Wait, I think that would be. Oh my gosh, make the commercial stop. It's so annoying. Alright, you guys, I'm putting on different music. This is driving me nuts. Hang on. Blah, 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 blah. One second. Also, I dropped cilantro instead. Mm -hmm. And glorious this. Okay. Mm. Let's try something else.
Shit, because they like things longer everywhere. Radio. That was not right. There we go. Go all the way back. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love sponsor. So, I'm going to use radio. Yeah. This is a full bunch of Do any of you guys have that cilantro taste like soap gene or whatever? I don't think I've ever actually gotten anyone to call that one. Oh, you know what? I'm just like sticking with my chocolate. Not like anyone's gonna be eating it but me. cilantro we're gonna separate the stalks from the pretty parts let me see if I found my other one aha cilantro I had from before What's the question mark for? About the cilantro or? more or less what I'm doing, Joe. I'm, I'm weird and I separate all of them as opposed to putting them all in one big thing. Then I'm like, no, they have to go in exactly the right order. Okay, see why it takes me so long. Good. lingerie streams. I think YouTube would allow that. You can't do certain stuff, but now that I know my phone works, I'm like, oh, well, this is easy. I could just do this during the week when I feel like cooking stuff. And I'm like, hmm, lingerie cooking streams. I suppose I could. Not that I really own any nice lingerie. Mostly I just own like weird ass skanky stuff. Always an option. I do have a pirate outfit. You know what? Maybe I'll make some kind of, ooh, maybe I'll dress like a pirate and make fisherman's eggs for y'all. I think that would be a great idea. But I do have a pirate costume, weirdly enough. I guess it's not that weird. I found it like randomly for like a few bucks. I was like, why would I pass up on this? It's a sorry commercial break. What do you mean? Um, fisherman's eggs are like onions, tomatoes, and herbs and other stuff mixed together. Oh, and Italian parsley and like lemon. 
and you basically chop it all up kind of like a shashuka or shashuka i always pronounce that incorrectly and then you pop eggs on top of it and put it in the oven and then bake the eggs into it oh my god i when i make that it's kind of gross i can cut it like a little pie and usually do four eggs on top so it quarters out of it um, but it's, it's damn good. If you check my Reddit profile, I do have pictures of it somewhere in there. It's on my good ship. It should be on my good ship Reddit. Yeah. But are we referring to the music, Joe? Or I just picked Bossa Nova because I was like, whatever, it's easy. I like Bossa Nova. It feels like we're in an elevator. Or like, you know, waiting to play Nintendo games. Okay. Now, up oh, hold on. You can go home. I can leave that you. Mm. Oh wait, no, I need Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it with the garlic because I'm being lazy. And they don't they can go in at the same time. Okay. The bottom of those are tennis. So those are going in my coffee. Oh, wait, why did you say commercial break though, Joe? I'm confused. wants to fight. I'm so confused. Um, I'm just going to use all this because I really like ginger as well. And I tend to let it go bad before I actually end up finishing it. I'm going to put it in my stock. Why not? And actually, if you don't really like ginger, this is a lot of ginger to use for one stir fry, so I would not recommend unless you're like, yeah, ginger. I'm gonna try me not scorn them, dude. I'm trying. It's like on a magnety thing, so. I'm trying to figure out why. Oh, oh, it's crooked, like me. So I wouldn't describe myself as crooked so much as just a little bit.
Let's see. Hello, his royal dude Linus. I guess I could stick, oh, you know what, hang on. Let me see if I stick my duct tape under here. It can only fall so much. Then it can only go to there. You guys, I wanna, <sighs> something on my screen. Uh, oh, crazy. I could make you guys watch me through a filter like it's 1950. Who knew this was an option? Ooh, now I look like I haven't, now I look like I feed on blood. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop fussing with this because this is amusing. Cancel. Uh, cancel. Oh, I see. Um, what was I doing? Oh, oh, I was trying to fix the music and avoid commercials, which obviously I have not managed to do particularly well. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the food. We are almost about to actually start cooking, now that we're almost done with our prep. Uh, baby. Trash. All right, let's chop our ginger. I'm just gonna mince it very roughly. Actually, sometimes I even like it in chunks because I really just love ginger. Super good for you. Also, one of the best hangover remedies on the planet, Pickled ginger and coconut water, if not the best. Well, I mean, the best would be not getting hung over. I'm gonna be so dainty. A lot of ginger, you guys. Oh, I'm gonna be feeling so healthy after this. My immune system's gonna be like, wee! Actually, you could eat, or I could use it, so. Okay, that's good enough for me. It's gonna go in our um, aromatic jar. So, this has garlic, cilantro stems, and ginger now. Read the stuff with those up. Um. Oh. Oh. Is he gone? I can't tell from here. And I think you're right, Andrew. I mean, I can go check in the other room. way of doing this. Wouldn't recommend it generally, but it works out. Mm. Alright, hang on. I'm just going to go double check.
now we're seven again. I don't know. Anyway, hello, just gents or ladies and gents, let me know if someone's being a crap bag, please. And if so, I will go back to the other room and kick them out because I don't know if I can do it from here. Or I'll try and figure it out. Anyway, let's get cooking. I'm, I'm very hungry. All I've eaten today is some cheese and some chili garlic crunch. I could, I'm living off that shit right now. I think Ginger's a good sponsor. I mean, it's January. Everyone's trying to get healthy. Hopefully, everyone wants to be healthy in months besides January. But, uh, yeah, it's time to boost that immune system. It's winter. You know what? No, I'll use Nooch instead. Ta -da, go back up, little guy. It's trying its darndest. I want to use this. Uh, Trader Joe's makes this red. Um, Multi-purpose umami seasoning blend. However, it is relatively sodium laden. 140 milligrams and a quarter teaspoon. And I just... So, given that I'm putting soy sauce and other stuff in there, I should probably lay off the soda. Mommy. This is a chili onion crunch that I'll, I don't know, I'll probably just get it. Nooch. Amazing source of B vitamins. So if you're a vegan, like this shit is, it comes in clutch. Or if you're an alcoholic and you're missing a lot of um, <clears throat> thiamine, 310% in this. Pretty impressive. So it actually kind of tastes like Parmesan cheese, not just for vegans. And it has a shit ton of other vitamins too. Uh, B12 is only basically found in meat. So, or this. Um, yeah. Nutritional yeast, otherwise known as nooch. <laughs> I'm like running out of space for all the shit I'm gonna put in here. Cayenne. Uh, Cayenne's also very good for the immune system. Spicy. I know it's perfect, you guys. I've kind of given up. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something I can squish under there. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? This might work. Gotta get creative. Gotta make the money. That's no good. Gonna job a ton and shop in your neighborhood. You guys like that song? MC Chris. <laughs> That's true. Coffee is definitely our other sponsor here. Zing! What? Andrew? Oh man, you, there's a whole, a whole world of things you can marinate steak in that, oh my goodness, it, uh, well, let me tell you. All right, I'm going to turn my fan on low. Just tell me, y'all, if you can't hear me too well. All right, hang on. Let me, one second, guys. I got to figure this out. Um. Hang on. There we go. Okay. I hid his royal doodliness because apparently he's a jerk and I don't want to deal with that, so don't do that. Um, can I put him in? No. Oh. Hang on, what was the bullshit he said before? One moment, folks. Sorry. Oh, never mind, I deleted everything he said. Sorry, I've erased you off the existence of my stream, so whatever. 
We would help each other. Oh my gosh, Joe, you're funny. Basically. All right, let's get my cast iron going. Oh. One of the things I love about cast iron is you can just crank the heat, unlike Teflon, which is bad because then fumes are not good things, so. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Can you guys tell I'm hungry? <laughs> I've had a lot of coffee and that's basically weird. I should go for more coffee. Oh, I need my, my magic wand. You guys, of all the things in the kitchen, a wooden spoon, quintessential. I, well, Joe, I don't, I, I'm trying to like kick him out from here, but it's basically just kind of letting me hide his shit. And I'm like, well, that's close enough, right? I, he can't do anything now, I guess. I don't know, he can watch, but whatever, anyone can watch. So what of? As I like stand here with my little. Do you guys know how to tell if a pan is hot? I mean, besides, <laughs> besides being like, oh, it's hot because I burned myself. Do you know how to tell if a pan is hot besides just doing that or burning yourself? Not leave that there for my elbow sink. Okay. A little bit of water. The water should dance. Um. Aw, what kind of tea do you like? Also, cast iron is notorious for not heating evenly, so and also my thing is kind of at a slant, so it's just really kind of screwed in all directions, or not in all directions, apparently. Mm -mm -mm. God, I love this small form cast iron. Ooh. Okay, let me try and aim that down just a smidge for y'all. So you can see a bit better what I'm cooking. Here we go. Oh, get a nice view of my paper towels. See if I can bring any closer. Okay, we're good. The joys of learning how to do this. I love it. Okay, you stay there, mister. Hang in. Ta-da. Ta-da. Hopefully I'm not nauseating anyone too badly because I know I'd be like, oh, Ari, stop, don't move. Perfect-ish. That's just a little weird, you can't see my face. Well, I can't see. Close enough. You guys know what I'm doing anyway. Um, okay, so, pan sock. Sesame oil. You can totally use regular oil for it. I just love the flavor of sesame, so that's what I'm going for. Da -da -da -da. Decent amount, that was probably like two tablespoons. Whatever. Ooh, welcome new folks that have joined us. We are just finally starting to get cooking. Hang on, now I'm pushing it back. All right, guys, sorry, I'm a little, do not, do not break, do not break, do not do the naughty thing again. All right, can get my paper towels out of the way? Oh, it's a little better. Okay. Da -da. Now I'm turning my heat down because you do not want to overheat oil and also be, be careful you want to use a high heat oil if you're using olive oil for a stir fry one I don't recommend it. Um, uh, uh, ah. Yeah dude. Earl Grey is amazing. Earl Grey with vanilla almond milk is like my jam. Okay. This is reasonably down. So the first thing I'm going to do because I, ooh, you know what? I'm going to put a little mustard in here. I am partially of the school of like Indian cooking where no, this isn't mustard seed, this is just regular mustard powder. Um, but they, I think it's called blossoming your aromatics first. And, oh, you heat them up. Shit, now I'm burning that because I let that get way too hot. Don't do as Ari do, do. <laughs> Okay. And I'm just gonna eat the rest of this because it's delicious. So you can tell the middle of my pan's super hot, but the other sides, like the part where the oil's cooling, is not. Scooch that a smidge. also an acquired taste though because it does get really bitter depending on how you make it too. Um, 
Yeah, I had that way too high. Whoops. So wait, so that's in there, try and salvage it. putting this stuff in. You know what? I give up. This stuff's too good to not add. And honestly, it's basically what I did with the other stuff, except they just put it in a jar. Mm. And then I serve these and I'll either turn it into like salad dressing or something so you shake it up. been hidden so oh it smells great all right Put a little more mustard i don't know why i'm craving mustard so much mustard is very 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 bitter so yeah oh you know what i forgot to yeah. test sugar. Amazingly cheap, actually, so good stuff. In fact, you know what? I'm going to add some of that now. Yes, this is how I cook. That's probably half a tablespoon. Oh, yeah. This is kind of like the base you would make if you were making ramen. I'm so weird to not be able to see the top of my head. Sorry, it's driving me nuts, guys. Too long because it's burnt garlic. I mean, I'm sure there are some occasions where you want to char it, but it's not good. All right, so aromatics go between like 30 seconds to a minute usually, just until you're like, oh, I can smell that.
do not be. All right, let's go with. Uh, actually, onions and bok choy can kind of go at the same time. Crank that a little bit. Ideally, you would be doing this in a wok, and you would be having it at a really high heat, and it would just be bing, 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 bing. I, on the other hand, have a cast iron, which is amazing, but it's not the same as a wok. It does cook differently. You don't have as much surface area in the same sense. Like, it's cool, but... So don't do what I just did and leave my spoon there, or your spoon there, it's not good. Faux pas, faux pas. Hmm, this is smelling amazing. I am totally with you, Andrew. Um, vinegar is one of my favorite things to use. And, well, I don't know, don't mind. Mine heats unevenly, but I think it's because my stove's at a slant, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, vinegar is glorious. It's, uh, also, if you enjoy cooking with vinegar, cooking with citrus can be really fun too. If you guys are familiar with ceviche, I've never actually made it mostly because I'm still, like, I don't want to give myself food poisoning. I have a feeling that I'm not as good at this as I think I am, so. No ceviche for me, at least homemade yet, but I'm um, using acids to break it down. Pretty fun. I actually have some yuzu hot sauce, which also sodium laden, so I'm trying to avoid putting it in there. But this yuzus are like little, I swear I don't work for Trader Joe's. They probably, uh, yeah, like a walking advertising for them though. Uh, they're kind of like a tangerine almost, and like a little Japanese citrus fruit. And it really, I mean, it's, it's a fun, fun thing. I just wish it didn't have so much salt in it because I already have a lot of salt in here, but I'll probably still put it on anyway. Mm. Aw, thank you, Joe. Pleasure to hang out with y'all as well. This is a great relaxing Sunday. I'm amongst wonderful company. I get to be in my pajamas. I mean, really, this is this is the best. They aren't actually matching. They were full. I think both of these were from my siblings. <laughs> I got Star Wars pants and a Star Wars hat. And I need to resist this because I will fully start putting it on there. Not yet. I'll wait till the end. I'm finishing sections. Okay. So. These are starting to get cooked down. Awesome. Now let's see what else we have to put in. These and these are the, was it the tops of the bok choy? These will just like wilt into nothing. So you put these very, very in. I'm gonna throw more vinegar on there. I'm gonna put the carrots in in a second too. sodium. <laughs> yeah, you guys, if you have high blood pressure, please don't ever make anything that I make because I think I'm giving myself high blood pressure by doing this. Uh, fish sauce. Dude. Dude. Kind of more of a Thai flair. This stuff's amazing. I once accidentally um, mistook my Bragg's amino acids, or I mistook this for my Bragg's aminos, and I was pouring on a dumpling, and oh my gosh, that was the worst dumpling I've had in my entire life because if you've ever had straight fish sauce, I'm sorry. If you even know what it smells like, like it's, it's gnarly. Um, let's see. Okay, sodium. In one tablespoon, there is 1,360 milligrams. Crazy. I think people are supposed to only have about 1,600 in a day. No. Oh. Ooh. Mmm, that's good. Ooh, it's spicy. Yes. Ooh, that's reasonably spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, I'm so excited 
get about lunch. Oh wait. Hoo wee. Okay. Yeah, so that's about it. <laughs> that was not even a teaspoon. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll make lard for you guys one day. Yeah, it's a lot of sodium. I mean, thankfully I used a fraction of what was in there, but then you add that to the soy sauce and then the chili stuff I'm using, like there, it, it adds up very, very quickly. And then usually I put like, you know, more hot sauce on top when I'm done. So yeah, sodium laden. Turn that up a little bit because it's a little too low. Okay, now I'm gonna throw my carotes in. And I'm just gonna use the rest of these because I don't know what else I'm gonna use out of carrots for. This is beautiful. I'm gonna have veggies for days, you guys. Oh, hi there. <laughs> I mean, Miss, Mr. or Mrs. Jaeger, I, Mr. or Miss Jaeger. I mean, I do kind of agree, but I just, I know it's not for everyone and I'm trying not to give myself higher blood pressure than I already have. Yeah, so it's, it's amazing. And to an extent, yeah. Um, I just, I gotta be careful because if it's pickled and full of salt, it is going in my face. So, Oh, you guys, this is so pretty, them colors and all that jazz. I'm excited. I am excited. I think I may just have to crack an egg on one of these. Mm. Actually, you know what? I think I might scramble the egg into it. Kind of like a Peruvian thing. I don't know if you guys have ever had Peruvian fried rice. Oh my gosh. It is a, an absolute treat. Also, I'm gonna add a little bit of that nutritional yeast I mentioned. Oh yeah. I don't want to add a ton yet. It doesn't change the flavor extensively at first, but then you start to add too much. Yeah. It doesn't. It works well with Asian flavors, but you kind of have to. Hmm account for it, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. Oh yeah, that smells good. I'm hoping I didn't overdo it with the fish sauce because it's smelling a little funky. I mean, I'm not kidding, like a few drops of that stuff is like, poof. Okay, let's, let's find it. It needs definitely need sugar. Need sesame flavor. This is how coffee cooks. Whatever she can find in the kitchen goes in the pan. And then she eats it, usually. Okay. See, now our bok choy is getting pretty soft. Our onions are like, oops, goodbye, Mr. Carrot. Our onions are quite soft now. So, let us add the bok choy, and then we'll add the green onions too, actually, you know what? going for it. Bok choy? This is actually baby bok choy. Or it's half baby bok choy, half regular bok choy. Not that you're gonna really notice anyway, so it's all gonna taste like sesame soy sauce and ginger. Love it. Love vegetables, you guys. Veggies are our friends. You don't need enough vegetables. Hopefully this will encourage you to start wanting more green in your diet. Green, orange, red, yellow, it's beautiful. Because every color in here represents different nutrients. So, I think that's pretty awesome. Once I find you swish this down, I'll put my eggs in. 
I think. Shoot, maybe I should just poach one on the side. Like, this is kind of intense. You know what, actually? I'll get you back. Okay. Uh, I hope I didn't accidentally. No, 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 oh, uh, sorry. Um, didn't mean to do that. Oh, crap. Andrew, I'm sorry, I think I accidentally, okay. Um, Andrew, type something again, sorry. I accidentally hid you when I did not mean to because I booped the wrong button because I have fat thumbs. I have fat index fingers. You said something about licorice. Shit. Oh, okay, good. It, it, you're still up. I ended it. And you know what, you guys? I'm going to... Do I want fried eggs or poached eggs? What kind of eggs do I want? I don't know. Um... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make a soft boiled egg. No, I lied, I'm gonna make a poached egg. vinegar in there. Helps keep its little wings together. Take these out. Right, let's see how this is doing. Oh my gosh, this is like veggie heaven, you guys. I am so excited to eat this. Oh, Hannah, I'm being a little naughty. I'm trying to crank my water up. <laughs> so I'm like, hurry up, I have food I need to eat. All right, let's see how it tastes right now. Try and get an indicative bite. Mm. I'm gonna crank the heat to try and get the water to evaporate because it's you know this is the kind of thing most people would probably eat with rice and i'm just like stick it in a bowl i'm good goodbye everyone no see this isn't i won't be able to put enough of this on there to like warm i need soy sauce and pepper One, one of the trappings of using sort of more watery vegetables is that um, it dilutes a lot of the flavor. And that's why cast iron is really not ideal to make stir fry in. Uh, because a wok will allow more like surface heat for it to evaporate, but this does not so much. So the bok choy and the onions are putting out all this water and it's trying to keep up. My water's almost done. You know what? I'm gonna go with some garlic powder too. I didn't put a ton of garlic in. you guys. Guess who's cleaning the kitchen? Me. Oh yeah, 
Getting there. Mmm. 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 Needs more sesame and more spice. I know it seems like a ton of oil, but one, there are no carbs, so I don't feel too bad about the calories. And two, I'm not going to be putting this over rice or anything, so I want it to be excessively flavorful as is. And yeah, it's kind of turning to mushy, guys, so whatever. I'll still eat it. <laughs> if I think too much while I cook, this happens. All right, my water is boiling. Let's get a little ego in there. When you set the egg down, you want to have something to put it on to catch its little wings. So, get the water spinning. Spin, 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 spin. You want it simmering, not like boil, boil, boil. And you want to plop the egg right in the middle. Beautiful. All right, my egg is currently poaching. I do not want it to overpoach. I want a honey yolk. My food is more or less done. Let's take one more bite before I pop my egg on top. See what it needs, if anything. Still need salt in my opinion. I don't want to add it to this because I know I'm going to change my mind about the kind of heat I want. Okay, that was not done yet. It was almost done. Um, yeah, so I'm going to probably put yuzu and sriracha on this one, but I won't do it to that. The only thing I'll add to this is more cayenne. about eggs, I know. It's like, I'm sure it's totally fine, but... Okay. Excellent. So, this is done. And my egg is almost done. It's blubbing. Is it a bowl? dish some of this up. Yeah. One more. I'm hungry. Cool. So, bowl of snacks. Off. 
off, you want to pull your egg out with a slotted spoon. Oh wait, that's a slotted spoon. Set it on your paper towel. Actually, no, I'm not going to set it on my paper towel. I'm going to put it straight up on my food. Sorry, paper towel, I'll use you as a napkin instead. Da -da -da -da. Go on, little eggy dude. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you guys, oh my gosh. Cilantro. Actually, put some in there too. I love cilantro. And then I'm going to add some of that yuzu sauce in sriracha because I already know I want it on there. I also have poison sauce that I am avoiding using because that stuff not only is sodium lading but it's full of calories because it's all sugar and it's amazing. Sriracha. Whee! And use it. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'll give you the money shot of the egg. Oof. I'm excited. I'm going to leave these out because I may want more. <laughs> Ah, there's a very, very simple method. It's literally five and a half minutes or six minutes, depending on how soft you like it. Um, if you look up perfect soft boiled egg, it's, yeah. It's, I always forget if you cover them or not, though. Okay, I just want to put cracked pepper over it. Let me see if I can bring y'all. <sighs> how can I do this? They're a bit stationary right now, and I kind of don't really want to stand eating, so I may just have to show you my bite while I'm standing. Here. Okay, you know what? I don't think it's gonna work. Folks, stream is going to to end in a moment, but I will see. I'm figuring it out. Ta-da! All right. Well, we're just gonna do it this way. Here is my thing. Egg right there. And oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is just yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see how they all taste together. Oh, there's some lancho, green onion. Don't burn my face off. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It's healthy. It's warm. Mm. I am very happy, you guys. I really enjoyed making this, and I'm going to be enjoying it for the next several days. I enjoyed sharing this stream with y'all. I hope you enjoyed me being a goofball and cooking some not quite stir fry but it's close and yeah I'm going to go I'll be in my bunk uh, yeah. so I'm gonna go enjoy this and I just want to thank you all for being here hanging out participating and I'm um, now that I know I can do this with my phone I have a sinking feeling I'm going to be broadcasting my snacks a lot more frequently <laughs> thank you Angie Glad to see you again today. And yeah, everybody, okay, I will let y'all know the next time I decide to do this. Thank you very much for being here. Happy eating.